Lloyd, how did it come about that your band, Thunderbird Jazz Band, played for the, um, Louis Armstrong at the Terminal Station in 1948, and why was it important for you to play for him? Well, we were... <clears throat> Uh, my friend Ian, the cornet player in the, uh, in the shot there, uh, had been trying to form jazz bands for a long time and had difficulty finding anyone else in the whole city of Vancouver who was remotely interested. We man managed, managed to find Charlie Brown, and uh, who was going to university at that time, and uh, Vic Whitaker, guitar player, and we heard that uh, the, Ar the Louis Armstrong All-Stars and truly an all-star band with uh, Trummy Young on trombone, no, Jack Teagarden on trombone, um, uh, Lewis of course, and Earl Hines on piano, uh, and Barnaby Gard on clarinet, and I think Big Sid Catlett on, uh, on drums, Arvel Shaw on bass. Truly an all-star band, so we're really excited. We've heard that they were coming to the Palomar Supper Club for a week's engagement. And <clears throat> so we phoned up the manager of the Supper Club and asked if we could meet them at the Great Northern Station down on Main Street. And uh, they said yes, and we were delighted. And they contacted the Vancouver Sun, who had their photographers down there to capture the event. And uh, we, they sat to, got Louis, Louis up on the uh, baggage counter and uh, and we played at him, played the Royal Garden Blues. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And um, who was in the band with you? Uh, you mentioned uh, Ian, um, and I understand you're also the uh, the last surviving member of that that group. I am. Yes, Charlie Brown died last year. The drummer, Vic Whitaker. I lost track of a long, long time ago. I imagine he was older than us, so I imagine he's gone to his reward now. Um, Ian died, uh, oh, I can't remember, t 10 or 15 years ago. Hmm. And how long had you been playing Dixieland Jazz before that meeting? I started playing, uh, uh, that was 1948. Um, I think I was 20 years old, possibly. I was born in 1927, you do the math. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I took up clarinet in high school, in grade 12. I got a clarinet. I'd been playing a violin up until that time. And we just stuck. The high school that I went to in Rosetown didn't have an art program, didn't have a music program, didn't have a phys ed program. So it was considered frills. <laughs> so we decided to start a dance band, and uh, we did. And in it was a clarinet player, and I found that my violin just didn't cut it against the trumpet, and the, so I got one. And then the trumpet player in that band, George Tosh, from Rosetown, Saskatchewan, uh, he introduced me to New Orleans jazz. And so I've been playing it, I guess, two or three years at that time. Wow. And um, this, you mentioned the song you played was Royal Garden Blues. Uh, what made you pick that song? <laughs> because we knew it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, one of our favorite songs. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you very much.